So what we really mean by biomechanics are examining the kinetics and kinematics of movement. And in order to do that, we need to measure those variables, usually with technology based around force plates and three-dimensional biomechanics. And we'll talk a little about that in a second. But the literature, of course, is confusing. If we look at ACL rupture and ACL injury, many of us you'll have seen this Tim Hewitt paper published in the American Journal of Sports Medicine. It looked at 205 female subjects, identified nine ACL ruptures, and looking at the drop landing, looked at knee abduction, an angle of over 80 degrees, and the knee abduction moment being over 20% or two and a half times ground reaction force being predictive of ACL injury. So knee valgus was bad. But another biomechanics study here by Tron Crosshag from the Oslo Sports Trauma Center 2006 in a bigger study, 782 female patients, in this case 42 ACL ruptures, found that in fact there was poor sensitivity for that drop landing in knee valgus. So is biomechanical data all it's cracked up to be? Well look, we look at another study again trying to just understand whether knee valgus is good or bad, 56 female subjects, 13 ACL ruptures, actually identified hip rotation moment as the abnormal feature of interest again with 77% sensitivity and predictive ability. So can we take a single variable on its own and say that that injury or that, that variable correlates with the injury or correlates with the variable? I don't think we can. 